How can you help celebrate World Wi-Fi Day? That's what we're going to talk about on this episode of Story Connect the Podcast. My name is Andy Johns, and I'm joined on this episode by Lisa Fannin, who is the Director of Marketing and PR at Mountain Rural Telephone in East Kentucky. Lisa, thanks so much for joining me. Thank you for asking. So this is a, a little bit of a celebrity sighting here. If you were on Pioneer's annual meeting, you may have seen that Lisa was named our Devonzo Communications Leader uh, Communications Leadership Award recipient. So congratulations, Lisa, again on that. Thank you very much. I was quite honored to, to receive that award. Well, certainly well, uh, well deserved. Uh, and Lisa is, uh, we want to be sure to get her on a podcast this fall because Lisa is looking at retirement coming up pretty soon. So we want to be sure that we, we helped uh, squeeze a little bit of knowledge out of, uh, out of her before she, uh, she checks out. So excited to have you on uh, today. <laughs> I like Lisa. that it checks out. That's what I feel like from checking out. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what we want to talk about today, obviously being a, a broadband provider um, there at uh, Mountain Rural Telephone Cooperative, um, Wi-Fi is a big deal. And, it, you know, it's been a talk for a long time about how do people even, you know, do people use the word broadband? Do they use the word high-speed internet? Do they just call it Wi-Fi? You guys saw in the calendar World Wi-Fi Day, um, which is kind of one of those made-up holidays, but it's a good time to do it. Mm -hmm. And, and you guys decided that World Wi-Fi Day was something that, that you wanted to celebrate um, there at Mountain Telephone. What kind of went into to that decision that, hey, we're, we're going to do something on that day? Well, we like to do uh, a number of community events where it's interactive, you know, and, and can be around our, our customers. So just kind of flipping through that calendar, seeing, you know, thinking maybe there's something I'm missing. Um, found World Wi-Fi Day was June 20th. Well, it kind of worked into the time frame that I could get that going, you know, and get, get something going. We decided to do a celebration. Um, one of the main things that caught my eye with World Wi-Fi Day is we always talk about Wi-Fi. When customers call in, they'll say, and it's a new customer, they'll say, I want to sign up for Wi-Fi. The next question, okay, what broadband package would you like? No, no, I don't want broadband. I want Wi-Fi. You right. know, so we wanted, we definitely wanted education to go into this. Um, so it just kind of all fell into place. We had some goals. We knew that we wanted, you know, needed a, uh, another interactive community event. We needed some education involved. Um, we wanted them to understand the customers, to understand what is Wi-Fi and the difference between Wi-Fi broadband. Um, how do they use it in their homes? How do we use it in the communities? Um, just, you know, just general information, anything that we can put out there about, about Wi-Fi and kind of celebrate it because, you know, it, is, it does play a big part in our lives now today. Yeah, let's take a little detour down that, that road if we can about, like, you know, what are people calling it. Does that, does that change the way that you guys are talking about it? And I know that this is something that we agonize over all the time. Is it, is it high-speed Internet? Is it broadband? Yeah. Is it Internet service? Is it Wi-Fi? You yeah. know, what are you guys, when you're communicating to people, what – um, if, if it's not World Wi-Fi Day, um, how, how are y'all communicating or what kind of phrasing, um, or, I mean, fiber is another thing people are using, you know, exactly. some people just call it fiber. So what, what, how do y'all normally refer to the service? Um, and, and is that what resonates with folks? The main thing that we wanted them to understand is you have to have broadband service. You have to actually have the internet service to be able to receive or use Wi-Fi, that that's just kind of a different tool or handle off of broadband uh, of course if you've got everything wired in you're strictly broadband service you know but if you're using signal that's that's wi-fi signal so you know that's just uh, and it's the ability to be able to be mobile you know to be able to um, not have to be in one spot you know to use internet service you can tell some of those folks never had to plug the phone line into their computer and make it make all those terrible noises when they logged on to AOL in 1997. Mm. So, mm. Yep. The joy. Well, let's get into the uh, the celebration. So what you guys did there, and what I like about this is it had like an in-person component out in the communities that y'all serve, uh, which y'all are always good to, to recognize and help promote those, um, uh -huh. but then also a virtual side. So let's talk about the in-person side, the scavenger hunt um, first. Tell us a little bit about because because you guys serve primarily four counties, um, and so you tried to to make a, some in person interaction in each one of those counties with some local businesses. Uh -huh. Tell us about scavenger hunt. One of our t uh, people on our uh, Wi Fi committee uh, just came up with the idea. Why don't we have a scavenger hunt? So I was kind of leery at first because 
um, didn't know exactly how this would go about, but um, we ended up finding, we, we chose five businesses um, that we thought would most likely participate and, and be on board with this, but we chose five businesses in each county. Um, with those businesses, we put clues out there on Facebook um, to get them started. And we had QR codes that were posted, suppo supposed to be posted on the front door or window of each business. That way a person could either, we, we wanted it, them to be able to go up and scan with ease, scan that QR code, but also right. we wanted to uh, put these businesses out there so that maybe it would entice the customer to go in and see what the business had or what they offered. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so when they would uh, scan the QR code, that would lead them, give them a clue to the next business. Like for instance, um, got some of my, my businesses and my clues um, let's see. Okay. Um, in Morgan County, one of our businesses was Bank of the Mountains. So Bank of the Mountains had a QR code posted on their door. Mm -hmm. But the clue to that, whenever they saw this on Facebook, was there's gold in them mountains. So that was, uh, okay. the, that was the clue to go to Bank of the Mountains to get started. So it was kind of like little little clues, you know, along the way that way. Yeah, um, I saw the one one for Elliott County. This place has pizza power, yeah. um, classic capital institution, wax uh -huh. threads and infinity. And to be clear, yeah. those are three different businesses. That's not all one business that has pizza power and waxing and threads and just right, to be clear. Right. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, so, so they've got that on Facebook. They're seeing it. And then they go to the actual places to scan the QR code. Exactly. Mm -hmm. okay. So at the last one they found, it would tell them, you know, we appreciate them playing and their name would be entered in for a drawing for $150. Um, you it's know, not bad. And again, people, you know, public uses their phones and that was just another branch off, you know, using Wi-Fi. There's so many ways we use Wi-Fi. Again, it was part of, um, of an educational experience too. Yeah. And were y'all picking those businesses? Um, did they have a uh, service with y'all or, or how did you go about picking those? Just, just places that folks would know in the communities or a little All bit All the businesses, it was just a combination. It would be, some of them were well known because we didn't want it to be so hard or have right. the clues. Maybe some businesses had only been in for a month, you know, and, and they had no clue even about the business. Right. So it was a combination of banks, uh, pharmacies, and then we would throw in like a, a boutique, you know, maybe that's something that's not, hasn't been as established as other, other businesses have been. Right. Um, so just, you know, good combination. Got it. And so folks are going around, they scan those and they're entered in. Um, if they, they, what, they have to find them all to be entered in, you said, I think, to, to be entered in for the 150. Yes, they had to have all five. Okay. And so that started what it looks like on Facebook about June 17th, June 15th, somewhere around there, um, about a week before uh, mm, World Wi-Fi no, Day that's itself. Probably, that's probably one of the last posts that we made that you saw. We, we started okay. maybe about two to three weeks before, okay. before the actual Wi-Fi event that night. Okay. So they had plenty of time, two or they three weeks to go out there and do that. Okay. Yeah. Got it. And then it comes to uh, World Wi-Fi Day itself, June 20th and 2024. I'm not sure what the date will be in 2025. I don't remember if it's one of those that stays the, the same day or if it bounces around a little bit. Mm -hmm. But then on the day, you and, and Matt Daniel, who we've recorded a, an episode with a couple years ago um, about multi-gig service, um, then you guys are on, uh, on camera streaming for about an hour. Um, yes on Facebook and then you guys had it on your local channel as well? On our local TV channel as well. Okay. Um, and you guys covered a lot of ground in that time. We did. And you know, you'd be surprised what all there is to talk about. But we had not really, we had uh, not scripts or anything, but we wanted our employees to be involved in this too. Um, like we had someone that like, we'll hope, Hope Keaton did um, a little video on exactly the history of Wi-Fi. Then we had maybe another department, some people in that department that would 
talk about uh, how they install Wi-Fi in, the, in community places for hotspots. Um, somebody else talked about how they um, installed Wi-Fi, another hotspot for like a campground, you know, and, and there's nothing that's too remote for us to, to, you know, install internet. We'll go to the extra mile. Yeah, literally sometimes it's several extra miles um, to get where you know, yeah. y'all are, the way that y'all are, are spread yeah. out there. I saw somebody, one of the other demonstrations about security systems and kind of things you can do with Wi-Fi. So you're, you're promoting some of the services as well, right? Yes, yes. Um, also, during that night, we would periodically stop and just say, you know, we want a uh, first caller, call in, and you're going to win um, one of our security cameras, Wi-Fi security cameras. Another thing was a, a gift was if they call in, they'll win a fire stick. So, you know, it was it, they were gifts that would eventually come back to us because they need that service, you know, for, for us. But kind of, oh, we got lots of calls. Oh, good, good. That's, and that's where I was headed next was, uh, you know, the first time you do something like this, you never know quite what to expect. Um, okay. But how were y'all, how were y'all kind of measuring success or what, what were y'all looking for? And, and do you think that, that you hit the mark that you were, that you were after? We, we didn't know what, because, you know, Wi-Fi is not uh, an exciting, I've heard the term used, sexy uh, <laughs> service. Sure, sure. <laughs> and yet it's something that needs to be talked about but sure. um we didn't know we didn't really know what we would get but it was if nothing else if it, it was a good experience for our employees maybe to do to do video and talk about on the camera what they do and they you know they were really proud to talk about when you had good employees there uh, they, they take their job serious and they had a lot of pride you know in telling where they'll go and where they'll install service and, and what they'll do. And I think they really enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. So that, that's, and that's a really good point. There's an internal piece of this too, to highlight some folks that maybe don't get a ton of, a ton of attention or, you know, not always out in front. Um, so that's a, that's an important piece too. Mm -hmm. And it looks like for, and we don't have to get too far into any of it, but it looks like just scrolling through your Facebook um, feed, which is, which I would recommend folks checking out um, the Mountain Telephone Facebook page if you want to see some of the trivia questions and, and see the video and some of the other stuff done there. But it does seem like some of the more popular uh, content that y'all put out there um, is stuff related to World Wi-Fi Day. Mm -hmm. So, so th yeah. that's, uh, that's great. One, uh, you brought up the committee earlier. So we've talked about kind of what, what happened on the day and what happened, um, you know, with scavenger hunt, but, but you know better than anybody how much work goes into something like this. So mm -hmm. you had a committee to do it. How far out were y'all planning to make it happen? What all went into to making this together? Because obviously when you're doing stuff in four different counties and uh, yeah. recording those videos ahead of time, I mean, it took, uh, it took a lot of work to do it. So how far back did you start off? And then, then what kind of um, uh, staff and other resources you pull in to make it happen? Well, we didn't start probably as early as we needed, but okay. I will say when you have when you have good people in place, things come together. They know how to do it, so I'm sure. I was, I'm thrilled with with our team. Um, I had Jonathan Keaton, who is our media specialist, does all of our TV. Mm -hmm. um, my um, marketing person in training, she she helped quite a bit too. We just kind of pulled people from different departments that could have some input into it. So uh, we started two to three months in advance. Um, okay. Didn't work on it full time. It wasn't actually, it wasn't all that hard to pull together, you know, once, okay. once we got a plan mm -hmm. and how we wanted to do it. Got it. And so that committee met just to kind of move things along and yeah. mm -hmm. plan things out and mm -hmm. um, two or three months to pull it off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could see how that would have been, uh, you know, you always like more time uh, oh, starting sure. earlier, but yeah. Um, yeah, I could see that, that working well. Well, last thing I had for you, um, now that you've done this once and, and, you know, I don't know if y'all will do this again, if uh, for somebody who's retiring pretty soon, it may not matter to you whether they do it again. Um, mm -hmm. But what advice would you have if, if somebody else is thinking, hey, this, you know, we were looking for an event to do in June as well. And, and we've got, you know, um, folks talking about Wi-Fi as well. I want to highlight that. If somebody's thinking about doing something like this for next year, what are some things you learned this year that you can pass on as advice for them for next year? 
Well, like I said, it's not as complicated as it sounds to get together. Once okay. you finally get your point of what your goals you want to uh, set for yourself to to do, um, and just kind of what you you know the general idea of what you want to do, I would be glad to talk with anybody if they did want to do a Wi-Fi day, the do's and don'ts, if they would like to give me a call or whatever, or email. Um, probably one thing I took away from this, and I'm sure anybody watching this understands now, uh, now do, nowadays people just don't cooperate like they used to. <laughs> okay. So even though you think you choose the, the right businesses, and they, when you call them initially and say, hey, would you care if we put a QR code up in your door or in your window so people can go by and scan? Just because they say yes does not mean they're going to do it. Because uh, I don't okay. think they really understood what it was until, um, you know, I started calling them and saying, so-and-so can't find the fourth QR code. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like that over we left off that yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, we need that up. So okay. you kind of have to stay after those people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe some extra communication or uh, yeah. I don't know if y'all will use the same places next year or switch it up, but um, you know, maybe once folks have seen it once now they can, yeah. they can understand. I, th I think it, it's, it's different now. Don't right. think they realize what it was. And I do believe that I would have me or whoever does it again, we go put them up ourselves. <laughs> okay, there you go. And tell That's them nice. exactly, you know, this is where we need this and we want them to scan. Plus we want them to visit your business. Right, and we're driving people to you. Exactly, you know, that's the whole point. Because that's, we've always made a point like with the magazine also. I love to do stories in the magazine about our small businesses and our artists and things and, and you know, people in the area. Because if they prosper, then so do we. Right. And I want, um, yeah, I'm, I'm all about the tourism and economy. Yeah, yeah, it's a very pretty area up there, but one that I think does get overlooked quite a bit. Um, mm -hmm. So they're they're lucky to have folks like you and and Mountain Telephone advocating for them for uh, for stuff like this. Thank you. Well, Lisa, thank you so much for, for joining me on this episode, for sharing that idea, and uh, for letting folks know how they can celebrate um, World Wi-Fi Day. All right. Thank you so much, Andy. Have a great day. She is Lisa Fannin, Director of Marketing and PR at Mountain Rural Telephone. I'm your host, Andy Johns with Pioneer. And until we talk again, keep telling your story. Story Connect is produced by Pioneer Utility Resources, a communications cooperative that is built to share your story. Story Connect is engineered by Lucas Smith of Lucky Sound Studio.